So finally guys the wait is over my semester is finished from now on i will post regular videos so let's get to today's topic Today in this video i will show you how to downgrade to realme ui 1.0 from realme ui 2.0 or 2.0 based custom roms so currently i'm using realme 6 in the nasantara os version 5.1 which is based on realme ui 2.0 android 13 and f2f is supported so there is some requirements like you should have backup of all your data then your battery percentage should be more than 40 percent otherwise it will interrupt the process and your device will break now talking about the files that you need let me show you the files so you should have have a secondary storage like pen drive or sd card so in my case i have a sd card you can see i have kept the files into the sd card and the files that you need is the firmware vendor file for realme 6 or 6i g90 variant then the realme 1.0 based recovery in this case i am using pitch black recovery and you can use other recoveries then we need the magic patch boot image for b61 only if you need root if you don't need root you can exclude this file now talking about the other files i am using b61 ozip to downgrade and you can use any other realme y 1.0 based ozip and the most important file is vivimeter so in my case this is 256 byte vivimeter for realme 6 6 ig90 devices so these are the five files that you need to downgrade to realme ui 1.0 from realme ui 2.0 or 2.0 based custom roms now the first thing you have to do is to remove the screen lock so i have already done that as you can see here now let's reboot into recovery so in my rom i have advanced reboot if you don't have advanced reboot then you will have magis in magis you get the option to reboot into recovery so just do that so currently i am in nasantara 5.1 realme ui 2.0 based android 13 rom so the recovery that is installed is twrp 3.6 which is realme ui 2.0 based obviously and the rom is f2fs so let me show you the data so it is on f2fs and the cache also is on f2fs so the first thing you have to do is to flash the realme ui 1.0 based vendor so here is the vendor.zip so all the files are showing without any issue so the first thing is to change the data and cache i will change it to ext4 which is default so if you are in realme ui 2.0 with a custom recovery then you don't need to do this step because in realme ui 2.0 the file system is already ext4 so after changing the data i will change the cache so let me check once ext4 ext4 so let's just flash the firmware vendor and this is b59 firmware vendor for realme g90 devices and make sure your battery percentage is more than 40% in my case i have 20% so when the flashing starts i will plug the charger when the firmware vendor is flashed go back and flash the realme ui 1.0 based recovery in my case it's pitch black recovery so here i have to press volume up to finish so after flashing the vendor and recovery just reboot into recovery now it will reboot into realme 1.0 based recovery which is pitch black recovery in my case so you can see the recovery successfully booted there is no issue now the first thing after booting into realme 1.0 based recovery is format data so go to wipe go to format data type yes now just reboot into recovery so i think now you know why i said to backup all the data and use a secondary storage now when the device reboots go to install and select the storage after selecting the storage go to that directory where you saved all the files so i have all the files here now the first file you have to flash is the ozip which will take a lot of time like 5 to 10 minutes because it's 3.1 gb ozip and just flash it no need to tick anything and i will simply connect the charger because the battery is running low in my device so you can see the ozip is successfully flashed when the ozip flashing is complete go back and 
flash the viewmeter image and format data and reboot but i need root access so i will flash the magic patch boot image according to the ozip that i flashed b61 i have the b61 magic patch boot image i will just click that and tick boot and simply swipe and after that i will just go to install and flash the peach black recovery zip and it will say volume up to finish now when you are done flashing all the files here it comes the most important step flashing the viewmeter file so here's the viewmeter image and this one is 256 byte viewmeter image you can also use 4k viewmeter image which is made for realme 6 or g90 series so now let's just flash the viewmeter image so i will just click on this and click on view meter and make sure the recovery you are using like pbrp or twrp that recovery must have the view meter partition otherwise this process is just a waste of time so now just flash the view meter now after that go to wipe go to format data type yes so it gives some error just ignore that click on reboot system so you can see the realme ui is booting successfully there is no issue here the realme logo appears and the phone will now boot normally so this is it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon i will see you in the next video Bye bye